This is ESPN Esports. I'm Ardo Okel. ESPN is reporting that the final two members of FaZe Clan's Valorant franchise will be announced in the near future. We have Baby Bay and Rockus retiring from Overwatch League, and they will be joining FaZe Clan's Valorant roster, joining Corey, Zachary, and Marv to complete FaZe Clan's five stack. Lots to unpack here. Let's first talk about the fact that we have almost a five stack of former Overwatch League players here between Corey, Zachary, Baby Bay, and Rockus. All four of them retired from Overwatch League competition in this Season 3 to pursue a career in Valorant. Of course, this is not the first time we've heard Overwatch League veterans or players retire from the league. Sinatra is a famous example. In fact, he was really the first one when he joined Sentinels. And of course, Sentinels enjoying a lot of success in Valorant. For FaZe Clan, though, they haven't been so busy. Certainly, there are some roster changes here. So we haven't seen them in action too much other than the T1 Invitational where they placed fourth. And there was a lot of hype around Corey. Of course, Corey, the showpiece of FaZe Clan, the main star, the one that people are pointing to and saying, we haven't seen too much at the competitive level of Corey, but he could really be the one to compete for that top spot, that star player status, along with the likes of Tens and Wardell and even artists in Europe. So it's going to be very interesting to see FaZe Clan finally compete in some tournaments. Of course, uh, we will get official announcements presumably soon as FaZe Clan is the next to host a tournament. They're hosting the FaZe Clan Valorant Invitational this weekend. So this also poses a question that we saw uh, Tyler Erzberger report. And by the way, he also reported on this at ESPN.com slash esports. He tweeted that this also means that there is a separation, a parting of ways between FaZe Clan and Jason R. And if you recall, Jason R was actually the very first player announced by FaZe when they announced their entry into Valorant. Corey was actually the second. And in that announcement video, Jason R actually declared himself to be the captain of this team. So this is all speculation on my part, of course, but there have been some notes online about how Jason R wanted to mold the team in his likeness and, and, and build a team from scratch. And now, of course, he will presumably have the opportunity to do that elsewhere. But maybe Jason Jason R thought that he might have had that opportunity with FaZe Clan. It was weird at first to hear that Jason R was signed and then he was not participating in that weekend's Valorant Invitational with T1 and it would be Corey and others. And there were people trying out at the time and we didn't exactly know what FaZe's full roster would be. But Jason R, all we knew... Despite being the captain, he was going to watch from the sidelines. And so now, as we ca continue to hear things like Jason R wasn't participating in scrims, perhaps, and Jason R was only streaming and he wasn't going to be participating in the future, possibly, then all of a sudden, the, the thoughts started to come, well, what is happening with this relationship? Is there even a relationship moving forward? Is there a possible uh, rift between these two entities? And now, whether there was a rift or not internally, we know that this has led to a separation. And now Jason R is free to create a team in Valorant with another organization. So now we have Corey, we have Zachary and Marv, as well as Rockus and Baby Bay. Of course, Rockus has been a longtime Overwatch League competitor playing with the Houston Outlaws. And it's interesting that now, if you look at it, three of the five Team USA Overwatch World Cup champions from 2019, Sinatra, Rockus, and Corey are now Valorant professionals. So that 2019 team, basically Super and Space are the remaining play uh, are among the remaining players on that Overwatch World Cup roster that are still playing competitive Overwatch. It's just fascinating to see what a difference a year makes. And so we don't know too much, obviously, because we haven't seen anything public as it pertains to Valorant with Baby Bay and Rockus, but from my interactions with them, uh, they're very well spoken. Uh, if there's anyone, and I say I mean this as a compliment, if there's anybody that fits the FaZe Clan vibe, it is certainly Baby Bay. He uh, is somebody that will fit into the culture, but also be a good ambassador for the brand. Baby Bay uh, will certainly be somebody that will knock it out of the park, at least on paper, 
uh, with the FaZe Clan franchise, and you could certainly see him being one of the mouthpieces of FaZe Clan Valorant. But really, when you're looking at star power, I'm s certain that many of these players will uh, fill their roles and find a niche within the teams and contribute in their own ways. But really, you're talking about Corey, somebody who really came in with a lot of hype, already had that level of mechanical giftedness with Overwatch League, and people were saying he was among the best aimers in all of FPS, not just Overwatch League, before he came to Valorant. He had a very impressive showing. A lot of people would have said he was one of the MVP candidates of the T1 Invitational. FaZe Clan coming in fourth, like I said there. But now is the time that we want to see more from FaZe Clan. And so when this five stack gets announced, now let's see what happens here. Of course, it's going to be the first tournament. They have been, according to Tyler, uh, also, like I said, the article's up at ESPN.com slash esports. They have been screaming as a team. They have been trying to figure it out and see how they can build a cohesive unit going into the weekend. It'll be interesting to see what roles we see from which players in FaZe Clan. But this is very exciting. Another NA full five stack from a major organization now. And the majority of them come from Overwatch. And of course, people love to meme in Twitch chat. People love to meme on social media about the different FPS titles. If it isn't CSGO, for example, memeing the Overwatch League players. Maybe a little bit less so because of Sinatra's success with Sentinels but certainly the memeing is, is definitely still prevalent, particularly with Fortnite players, etc. But this is going to be interesting to see a team with a top-level team with predominantly Overwatch League players and how they will gel as a unit. And some people that I've spoken with have said that do not discount a team like this. If there were to be a team with predominantly Overwatch League players, they would actually function quite well because they have had that team mentality experience and that FPS with abilities experience. So this is going to be a good case study for FaZe Clan. I'm sure a lot of uh, people who are FaZe Clan fans are excited to see this and see them compete in future tournaments. Let us know in the comments below what you think of ESPN reporting that Baby Bay and Rockus. Uh, have already formally announced that they are retiring from Overwatch League, but they will be joining FaZe Clan. So what do you think of the roster? Rockus, Baby Bay, Corey, Zachary, and Marved. Let us know in the comments below.